Adalo App Builder tutorial. Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Adalo App Builder. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is to open your browser and kindly go to adalo.com or you can simply click the link on the description below and you will be directed on this page in which it will show you the details about this platform. And if you don't know Adalo, it is a low-code app development platform that enables individuals and businesses to create custom mobile and web applications without extensive coding expertise. And the platform is designed to simplify the app development process, allowing users to build and launch their own apps quickly and efficiently. And to access this platform, they also offer a variety of pricing plan that you can avail and to see those plans, can you click the pricing option on the top panel? And below here, it will show you the plans including the free, starter, professional, and team plan. In which each plan, you will see the corresponding prices and the list of benefits it included. But in those plans, I'm going to choose the free plan. And to proceed, can you click the sign up button or the get started button right here? In which upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And from here, to sign up for free, all you need to do is to fill out all of the required information, including your email address, and also, you are required to generate your own password and enter your full name. And after that, just click or check these boxes below here that indicate that you agree to the terms and condition of Adalo and proceed by clicking the button below. And after that, the next thing that you need to do is to select your answers below here to the question, how will you primarily use Adalo? So from here, I'm going to select for personal use and proceed by clicking Go Build Up buttons below. And after that, from here, all you need to do is to select your answer to their question, what kind of app do you want to make? So let's say I'm going to choose mobile only and proceed by clicking the next button. And after that, the next step is to choose a template in which below here, you can choose either to start from scratch or to select a template that is already here or given with other elements design and other contents. So let's say I'm going to choose this one. So kind of click on it and proceed by clicking the next button below. Now the next step under the branding, from this step, all you need to do is to enter your app name and also below here, you can change the primary color and the secondary color of your app. And to do that, kind of click on here and it will show you a window that you can choose a color as the primary color of your app. While for the secondary color, just do the same process, which is to select a specific kind of color as the secondary color of your application. And after choosing the color, just proceed by clicking the Create button below. In which upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page, in which from here you can start customizing your application based on the given template that you choose. And you can see here on the left side panel, some of the editing tools, including the screen, the branding, the database, settings, and any other option that you can navigate. And from here on the right side panel, it will show you the number of slides that your application or the template contain. And you can start customizing by simply clicking on it, such as let's say this logo right here. Upon clicking on it, it will show you on the left side panel, the bigger screen in which you can see here your logo. And you could also customize this or change the picture by simply uploading or importing a media files from your computer. And aside from that image, you could also select other kinds of elements on any of these application slides, such as the context, the buttons, the design, and any other elements. So let's say we want to change the context or the description under this logo right here. And on the left side panel, you will be able to customize the context simply clicking in here and proceed by entering the context that you prefer after selecting the previous context. So let's say instead of this context that says helping couples figure out what to do when they're bored, I'm going to change this into we will assist you for your date problems. And after that, just proceed by clicking the done button in here in order to save the changes. And aside from that elements, you could also change or customize the other elements that contain on different slide screen, such as for example, under the sign up screen or slides by simply clicking 
any of these elements, you will be able to start customizing, including the text, the color, the font, the layout, and even the design of your application. So let's say we're going to choose the form in here. And upon clicking on it, it will show you on the left side panel some of the data collection that you can choose, including the categories, the users, or the dates. But if you want to add a new collection, just click the button that says New Collection. And aside from that, you could also customize what do you want the form to do. And you will see here some of the options including to log the user in, to sign the user up, to update login users, and even to sign the user up. But since it is a sign up page, I'm going to choose to sign the user up. And aside from that, on the left side panel, you could also change the fields and the submit button of your preferences. And also, aside from that, you could also simply click the plus button on the left side panel in order to add an elements or component, including a text, a button, a simple list, up bar, and many more. So let's say I'm going to choose to add a button, and to do that, just drag this button right here down to the slides or screen of your application. So for instance, I'm going to enter the button right here. And after that, you could also rename the button and customize the type button. So for instance, we're going to rename the button from contact us. And also, we're going to customize or change the type button to contain button. And aside from that, if you scroll down below here, you could also change the size of the button, shadow of it, the uppercase, the text color, and any other elements within this button. Such as if you want to add an icon, just click this add button right here below the icon, and you will see here a variety of icon that you can choose for your button that says contact us. So in that button, I'm going to choose the appropriate one, which is the dial phone or the phone icon right here. So kind of click on it. And after that, you will see the result or the changes on the screen where the button that you insert to your screen or slides has been added. And aside from that, you could also change the size or to make the button bigger so that the context inside it can be visible or fit. And in order to do that, kindly simply drag the point of this button on each side. And after that, you will now see that the text inside of this button is now fitted. And aside from those options on the left side panel, you could also navigate the branding option in which you can choose the primary then the secondary colors of your application. And from here, you can also change the fonts of your context. While under the screen option on the left side panel, from here it will show you some of the screen that is already part of your application from the template that you choose. While under the database collections, from here you will see the number of users, records, the categories, and even the dates. While under the settings on the left side panel, from here you could also change the app name and also add additional details about your application. And if you are now done, you can start publishing your application by clicking the publish button on the left side panel. However, before you publish this, you must have an upgrade account to publish your apps. And here are some of the plans that you can choose to upgrade your account. So that is just how you can use Adalo App Builder. Thank you.